guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is McKinley. Today I'm going to be trying the whipped iced coffee recipe that's trending on TikTok right now and on YouTube. I've seen a lot of people do it and I love coffee. I have coffee every single day and I can't go a day without it. So I really wanted to try this. I've been doing hot coffee more recently because I just got a new espresso machine and I've been loving it. I've been doing more hot coffee recently with everything that's going on in this world right now. I cannot afford to go and get Starbucks every single day and I cut myself off of that. So I went to Target. I bought my own espresso latte machine and honestly, I think it's better than the Starbucks caramel macchiato. I got my own caramel sauce, I got French vanilla syrup, and I just use whole milk or almond milk. So whatever I'm feeling that day. I got a Starbucks drink the other day and it was the same exact hot caramel macchiato and I actually prefer mine more. So if you guys wanna save some money and not go to Starbucks every day, especially with what's going on, go and get yourself a latte espresso machine. I got mine at Target for 40 bucks. It's the Mr. Coffee. You will not regret it. And it's very, very easy to use. You can just YouTube how to use it, how to make it. And there's also instructions, so it's super, super easy. So if you guys wanna see how this whipped iced coffee recipe goes, just keep watching. So all you need for this recipe is two tablespoons of instant coffee, which I have, two tablespoons of granulated sugar, and you need to boil two tablespoons of water. And then for the end of it, you just need one cup of coffee or almond milk, soy milk, whichever you prefer. the recipe just because this dish is pretty deep and it wasn't getting whipped the way I wanted it to. Now that the whipping's completed, I'm going to get eight ounces of milk. I'm just gonna use this Mountain Dairy milk that we have here and I'm going to measure it out. I added the milk into a mason jar and then now it says to add your coffee into the cup that you added the milk into. I just grabbed a few ice cubes to add into my milk. I just put a straw in this is what it's looking like now it's still a little bit separated all right so here's the final taste test honestly to me it tastes like cheesecake this is definitely a dessert or even if you wanted to put some whiskey in it or some alcohol in it, it would be so good. I probably wouldn't be drinking this on a day-to-day, -day, everyday basis for my coffee. It is really good. I would really suggest using an electric whisk because it works so much quicker. I started off using handheld whisk and that didn't really work very well. This is definitely good. I mean, the instant coffee is pretty easy to go and buy. You have sugar, you have boiling water. You guys definitely should try it. I think it is really good. It's just not something I would drink every day because it's pretty sweet. If you like today's video, then just give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more videos from me, then just subscribe to my channel. And hopefully I will see you guys in the next video. All right, bye guys.